Hi, you soldiers. So it's a gloomy, rainy Monday as I'm filming this. I really did not feel like trying today at all whatsoever, uh, but I at least put on some eyebrows for you guys, so I hope you appreciate that. I also have about like four chapters of bioethics homework to do today, and have I started any of them? No, I haven't, but I still wanted slash needed to film today, so I thought that I would just do a short little video of uh, a little bit of stuff that I got that I can show off. I was at the Raincoast Fall Teen Preview, which, bless Melissa, is like the greatest thing to go to ever. It's so fun. People within the book industry get to go see what's new coming out. It's exciting. We get swag packs. This one is a little bit... Uh, worn in. I was wearing a sweater and it's just all over the tote bag now. Oh and I can see Pumpkin loved this one because hello cat hair. But I'm kind of really excited about a couple things that are in here so I wanted to share with the internet and hopefully you find these also interesting. The first of which being this red, red, really red, really red tote bag and that is a self-confessed book obsessed tote bag by Swoon Reads. Swoon Reads is like a online platform that you can upload your book to and then based on fan reaction uh publishers decide to publish what book fans want published most it's pretty cool and as always we get a bunch of paper pamphlets these are exciting paper pamphlets because first of all they look freaking cool look at this design it's for into the hazel wood let's just start talking about that one because that one is like based what the whole thing's based on um so it's this guy here by Oop, Melissa Albert, and it has all to do with like creepy fairy tales, has a very Grimm's fairy tale aspect to it. Uh, things coming alive that shouldn't be alive in a creepy cursed forest, and it just sounds absolutely wonderful. And oh, Your One and Only is like a clone book. Is gonna be super weird, but gonna sound it sounds really good. Children of Blood and Bone uh, by Tomi Adiemi uh, has been all over Twitter. I'm very excited. It's going to be like West African magic. And then Brightly Burning by Alexa Dunn is it was just a hilarious one at the preview because they go, oh, and the next one is gonna be a Jane Eyre retelling, and we're all like, mm, okay, whatever. And she goes in space, and we're all like, what? So Brightly Burning is a very high up on my list, especially because I just finished the actual Jane Eyre uh, for my English class so it is ready in my mind and I really want to read about the like sassy AI and uh, Captain Rochester aboard the Fairfax in space and then there was oh one more thing of paper which is the self-confessed book obsessed coloring book <laughs> reader approved <laughs> kicking ass and taking names all before third period some of these things, like, not gonna lie, these are so cheesy and, like, I kind of want to gag a little bit. Like, all is fair in love and fandom. Like, all right there, you are definitely catering to a specific audience. Oh, be careful who you kiss. I mean, that is just a solid piece of life advice right there. Well, I kind of like this one. You're more powerful than you think. And that's based on These Vicious Masks, which has a really dope cover. Ooh. All right, let's get on to a couple of things I have in here, which... Hudson's Bay receipt? Pretty sure this did not come with this package. Well, I got a bunch of bookmarks that I'm really kind of excited for, and people are like, it's a bookmark, Rachel. Like, and yes, anything can be a bookmark, but are they gonna have a hashtag into the Hazelwood bookmark? I don't think so. Not only that, I got two that are really, like, they're just so cute, and they're just so great. It's these guys. This one says, ready, set, read, and this one says, right at this minute. And I just, I kind of really like them. They're just, they're so fun, and like, if I spend time with a book, I'm going to be spending a lot of time with a bookmark, and I want it to be an awesome bookmark. And then I have buttons, and I'm very... Oh, and we're... Wait, I have three. Again, more receipts. Like, this is just... What did I buy at Shoppers Drug Mart? Oh, right, right. Okay, I remember now. So I got this first button, which is Nice Try Jane Sinner, uh, which is for the author that came to the event, uh, because that was her new up-and-coming book. Uh, so I got a little button, and that's like a high school, college, figuring yourself out, but then like diary entries. Uh, it sounded interesting. Then because Raincoast is under the same umbrella publisher as uh, Leigh Bardugo uh, for her new 
Language of Thorns book, I got this new little button that says Monster, and I'm very excited. And then Raincoast is also the same publisher umbrella as Marissa Mayer's new Renegades superhero novel, and for that they had the buttons for the Anarchists and the Renegades, and I got the perfect one because I am Team Anarchist, and look at the one that I got. I freaking got Ruthless. <laughs> There were other ones that said like bold and valiant and of ruthless. And then because of all the buttons I got, uh, I am now a ruthless monster and I'm kind of excited about it. And then I got two books uh, and one of them I have uh, may have already read. The first one that I got is Love Songs and Other Lies by Jessica Pennington, which looks like a cute, I just had my heart broken and I'm still trying to survive kind of like those kind of lovey-dovey contemporaries, which I'm not super into, to be completely honest, is about a girl named Virginia who had this very bad, heartbreaking breakup, and now she's an intern with these rock stars, like, on a bus going around touring, uh, so now she has to, like, dodge TMZ and, like, oh my god, there's cameras everywhere, but then also, like, one of those guys is, like, kind of really cute, and I don't know how I feel about my heart. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be like that. <laughs> and if you were interested in this at all, this comes out January 2018. And the book that I definitely already read <laughs> is Girl Made of Stars uh, by Ashley Herring Blake, which I cannot recommend enough. This is about a very serious topic. This is about a girl whose brother gets accused of raping her best friend and what she has to deal with knowing that it's someone close to her and then her falling out with her friend and then she's also having issues with her own girlfriend that she broke up with a little while ago uh, and it was just a fantastic book about family and victimization and how people have to deal with that in everyday life. This is a great book about consent and friendship and I again I cannot recommend this highly enough I thought it was absolutely wonderful uh, and I finished it in two days with my, I'm pretty sure I was using the right this minute bookmark. <laughs> There's gonna be so many good books coming out in the winter and next year, and I'm just very excited about everything. As excited as I can be um, on this <laughs> very gloomy day <laughs> here in Vancouver. You know where to click to like the video, you know where to click to subscribe. We just talked about consent. I'm totally cool if you just want to casually watch my videos or if you want to become a member of the Ginger Squad and join my army of soldiers. I hope you guys are having a nice day wherever you are, and I will see you all next week. Bye!